Hey guys, welcome back to Offbeat Motors. I'm Corey, and today uh, I'm going to be working on my wife's car. It's a 2014 Chevy Cruze, and check engine light's been coming on and off, hasn't been running right, and yesterday we went and filled it up with gas, um, and it didn't want to start afterwards. It was just continuously crank, 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 crank. It kind of sounded like it wanted to start, but something was definitely going on, and I was eventually able to get it started uh, by put my foot down on the gas pedal to get it going and I was able to creep it home and uh, while I was on the way home uh, it wanted to die when it was sitting still at an idle and when you try to take off it was just so sluggish and bogging like it was misfire and stuff um, so I ended up going and because I've always wanted one and I never had one went and picked up a little code reader it was like 39 bucks from AutoZone um, I'll put a link in the description it's just very basic uh, but it, I was able to read the codes, and I had P0171. little Googling uh, came up with the most common problem to be the, um, the PCV valve, which is built into the valve cover. And according to just about everything I read online, eventually every Chevy Cruze owner is going to have to replace this because it constantly fails. Um, the thing that really ticks me off about this is this car, like I said, it's a 2014. It's almost paid off, and it's only got 66,000 miles on it. So this isn't the first thing that happened. Um, one of the other things that happened just a couple of weeks ago, um, I was changing the spark plugs, and when I went to pull the coil off, all the spark plug boots disintegrated. So that ended up being a $200 spark plug change because you can't buy just the boots for some reason. You have to buy the whole coil pack with the boots attached. So between that and the four spark plugs, it was $200. Bucks. And now with the valve cover gasket, or the valve cover itself, with the um, valve built into it, it's gonna that's another $100. Um, picked up some black Permatex. Going to need that uh, to help seal it up in one of the two of the areas, which I'll show you in a, once we get to that. And I also had to buy a E10 socket uh, because I didn't have one, and that's what the valve cover bolts uh, use. Uh, the valve cover that I purchased, I got from AutoZone also, um, and it comes with the gasket and the bolts installed. So the only thing we have to swap over is the um, um, the oil, oil cap. So... Uh, we're going to go ahead and change that out because that is the most common problem, like I said. And uh, this one's leaking anyway, so it's got a little bit of leak around the front of the valve cover. So the, the gasket needs to be changed. Um, this has to be changed anyways because the valve is bad for the P0171. Uh, I thought it was a purge valve at first because I know those can go um, quite frequently on these cars as well. But I tested the purge valve and everything was fine with that. And I didn't have a purge valve uh, code anyway. So, um, But I did when I tested it. So, um, But like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, start changing this out. And I'm going to show you how actually easy it is um, to change out. It's something you can do at home. And don't bother paying a dealer to do this because it will cost you a ton at a dealer because obviously they're going to want to diagnose the problem. Spend 39 bucks on one of these, read your own damn code. Uh, or you can go to AutoZone, O'Reilly's, all those other places. They uh, more than likely will read the code for you and tell you um, what the code means, and then you can go from there. Um, by all means, this is what's going on with this car. Your code may be caused by something else, um, but like I said, the most common problem is this right here. Uh, this is what fails. Um, as you can see, I got everything in the box here that I'm going to need. It's not a lot of tools. So um, we're probably going to do a voiceover outside because it is a little cold and it is windy out. So um, look at that hood. That thing is filthy. So let's go ahead and uh, get this changed. So before we get started, I wanted you to hear exactly what was going on with Janine's car. Unfortunately, the clip that I had, it was completely destroyed by wind noise and you couldn't make anything out. So I did a little search and found this clip from Falcon's Garage, and it is the exact same issue that I was having with Janine's car, and uh, you can tell exactly what was going on. This is the PCB valve here, and if I put my finger here, if I put my finger here, you can hear the air being sucked in through that valve right there. As you can see, we got some leakage right here. We're gonna have to pull this dipstick out. Um, this could be another problem too. Um, this O-ring, I guess, sometimes likes to leak air. I'm gonna swap this over. This is our problem. This is expensive. And uh, there's a purge valve, I already tested that. That's good to go. So first thing we gotta do is unclip this harness right along here. 
and get that pushed out of the way a little bit because we're going to need the room to pull this up and then we'll get all the bolts loose and we'll get the coil pack off after we disconnect that connector. Alright, so after you get the connector off and you get these bolts loose, you just wiggle it back and forth, pull it straight up. Be careful because these bolts, these bolts will come right straight out. These are not going to come out, but you know they're good, or good when you can do that on all of them. So this is ready to take off. Okay, now that I got the bell cover off, uh, I just want to make sure you clean up all this passage and oil and stuff, um, especially right in here where these two pieces meet here and here, because this is where we're going to put some uh, RTV silicone gasket maker because that will cause leak if you do not. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up all along here and whatnot. All right, we have the new valve cover just setting down. It just kind of falls in place once you get it past these lines. And just go ahead and push it down a little bit and then go ahead and start all these bolts by hand. And then um, these don't get torqued down very far. Um, I'll put the torque sequence and stuff up on the screen now. All right, all the bolts are torqued down. All we got left to do now is put the coil back in, put the bolts on the coil, connect the uh, electrical connector, and put these lines back in where they go. Um, and then uh, we should be good to go. And there she is, all buttoned back up. Uh, the only thing I got left to do is put the engine cover on, which is in the car. Um, it's pretty brittle, so I don't want to break it. I've already replaced it once, so I left that in the car so it wouldn't get broken. So all we got left to do now is to start it up and make sure she's running all right. Okay, and before I start it up, I'm going to go ahead and clear the codes. Um, that's that EVAP purge solenoid valve code that I told you. I got when I unplugged it just to see if that was uh, an issue or not. But we're going to go ahead and erase it right now. You can see that's code one. And there's two. And if I go to DTC, there's the 171. So we're going to go ahead and clear these. Done. And we're going to go ahead and start the car now. Started a lot better, I'll tell you that right now. Sounds better, that's for sure. It's not stumbling, which is good. So I think we did it. Well... Time will tell anyway, so. So there you have it, guys. That's how you're going to fix your P0171 code here in a 2014 Chevy Cruze with a 1.4 liter turbo motor. I'm not sure if the uh, 1.8s have the same issues or not. This is a 1.4. So um, it's relatively easy to do. You can do it yourself at home with just a couple of hand tools. And um, that's about all there is to it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that blah 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 And catch Offbeat Motors over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It's all Offbeat Motors. Just search me. So you'll find me. All right, guys. Have a great day. See you next time.